Today we're going to be making a Starry Night Pumpkin Patch. These are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need oil pastels or crayons, you're going to need a watercolor set, a brush, a water cup, and a messy mat. First you need a black crayon or black oil pastel and with that we're going to sketch out the tall shape that kind of looks like a tower. It's actually supposed to be a cypress tree but it's just kind of like this tall pointy tower shape. And then using that black I'm going to add short choppy lines. We're trying to recreate the brush strokes that Vincent Van Gogh used in his paintings. Then I'm going to layer that with some brown short choppy lines and then going on top of that with a gray still using those short choppy lines and you just want to keep adding this and layering colors until you pretty much fill in that entire tree shape Now we're going to draw the lines to create the hills and mountains in our background. Using that black oil pastel, I'm just drawing a line across my paper that looks kind of like a hill or a mountain shape. And I'm going to do that twice so I have two rows of hills. Now we're going to add some pumpkins down here to the bottom of our hill. So using a marker, or black crayon or black oil pastel, I'm just drawing a few pumpkins down the bottom section of my picture. Now let's color those pumpkins in using crayons or oil pastels and if you have different shades of orange that might be more interesting than doing all of them the exact same color. Don't forget to color in your stems! Now I'm ready to color in those hill shapes. To do this, you're going to want to use either blues, greens, or teals. And you'll want to have at least two different colors. You don't want both of your hills to be the same color. Now that our hills are colored in, we're going to add the stars and the moon to our background. So for that, you want to grab yellows and oranges. I'm going to start by drawing a crescent moon shape. And again, we're using short choppy lines instead of coloring it in all the way. So that it kind of looks like the way Van Gogh painted. I'm layering my colors, so I'm not just using one. I'm using a few different colors in my moon to make it look more like a painting. Now I'm gonna grab a yellow and just kind of add some lines to make my moon look like it's glowing. And again, I'm using more than one shade of yellow to make it look a little bit more interesting. 
Now let's add some stars. It wouldn't be starry night without some stars. I'm just making little choppy lines, kind of in a circle shape. And again, I'm gonna go back in and layer more than just one color. So I'm adding a few shades of yellow and then a little bit of orange. All right, here comes the fun part. Grab a couple shades of blue and we're gonna add some swirls in our sky. Again, I'm doing everything like a dotted line in short little choppy strokes with my crayon or oil pastel. And I'm just adding a few swirls in one color and then a couple swirls and lines with all the blue colors that I pulled. Light blue, dark blue, teals, any of those are fine. Just keep adding swirls and dotted lines of blue until you fill up most of your paper. You don't want to have a ton of empty white space. Now that we have our swirls in our sky, we're ready to paint our sky using your watercolor set. And we're only going to use blue in our sky. Remember, watercolor paint should be see-through. It should never cover up your crayon or oil pastel because the paint should always have lots of water in it. I can paint right over those lines and still see them. Once you have your whole background painted, your project is finished. We are going to set this aside for a few minutes, let it dry, and then when it's dry enough, we're going to photograph it with our Chromebook and upload it to Artsonia.